for video streaming, gaming, social media, plus smart home devices, and security systems, standard high speed or cellular internet is just too slow. But broadband keeps your home connected. Call or visit Gearhart Broadband online. What was supposed to be a fun day of kayaking was tarnished by a racial incident for a young University of Pikeville student. Victor Nakayasu says as the female instructor at Muddy Boots was explaining what the group of U-Pike band students and faculty needed in order to be able to kayak, she said something that left him stunned. And then I looked around, I was like, there is no way, there's just no way that she's saying this. And I was like, okay, let me pause. What do I gotta be in order for me to continue to kayak? She said, looked at me right in my eyes, free white. 21 and I was like wow wow I gotta be white for me to do an activity that the school is paying me, us to go to. Nakeasu says what hurt the most is that everyone around including a few members of the UPIC faculty remained silent and didn't stand up for him. And then you know I just kind of brushed it off and everybody laughed and no one said anything that's what bothered me no one said anything like the people that call me friends, the people that call me, you know, you're my brother, they didn't say anything. Now I understand maybe you, they were in shock, never heard something like this, but that hurt me because she said that, you know, and nobody said anything. It wasn't what or how she said it, it was when she said it, nobody said anything. And that's what broke me. So I, I just went straight to the Geta kayak and I started moving it to the river. And then I was like, okay, hey, I can't continue, I need a paddle. So I went over there in the back, saw tons of colors, and she gave me a black paddle, all black. I said, it suits me better. And I was like, why does this suit me better? So this is why I said, I was like, oh, it's probably because I'm black. And then she laughed and so did others. So I get on the river and I continue with my day, but I knew for a fact that this was wrong. It's so wrong. After this incident, Victor says he talked with one of his close friends about leaving Kentucky and returning to Massachusetts. It doesn't matter where I go, racism is only gonna follow me. It's been like this for decades and even centuries. It doesn't matter if I go back home to Massachusetts or if I stay in Kentucky. I, it's, just, it's just gonna follow me to wherever I go. It's just like a little baggage I carry with me. Now I have felt discrimination in the past when I was a kid growing up, but I have never experienced someone saying I can't do a certain activity because of my color. It was always people calling me names. It was never something that I, I couldn't do. I don't have any hate towards her. I don't see color. I see people. That's what my parents taught me. I forgive her, and I pray that God forgives her. And I pray that when people see her, they just see people. They don't see color. And I hope that she can learn that. Reporting from Pikeville City Park, I'm Jeremy Justice with Mountaintop News.